Hi everyone. Happy Hugs Thursday. I'm so glad you could join Artist at Heart Paint Party. I'm Denise. I welcome all of you today and I wish all of our Jewish friends a happy Passover, which began uh, today. So thank you so much for joining us. I just want you guys to have a good time and use any supplies you have. Paper, pencil, markers, crayons, color pencils. I'm going to always do some like little silly funny cartoonies with uh, just some computer paper and a black marker. Use whatever supplies that you have. And I just want to give a shout out to Fox 8 uh, News. Last night they did a story on Artist at Heart Paint Party and you guys reaching from Cleveland, Ohio across the world. It was a great story. I did post it on the Facebook page, Artist at Heart Paint Party. So you can watch it if you missed it, but it's really, really nice. And I, I'm very appreciative of that so much. So again, it was a a great day yesterday, beautiful weather. And this morning I woke up and it was snowing. Imagine that in Cleveland, Ohio. That's not unusual for April in Cleveland. So yesterday we had a nice warm sunny day, almost 70 and today is in the thirties. It did stop snowing for now, but uh, hopefully the flowers that are coming out are okay. And I keep forgetting to show you guys this, but Rachel, uh, oh, Grace, happy birthday so much. Uh, oh, it's your dad's birthday. Grace's dad's birthday. Shout out to Grace's dad. Happy birthday. Uh, Rachel, do you want to show them the Easter picture? I was trying to find old pictures. <laughs> okay, that's me. Can you tell which one I am? Uh, so my mother always used to dress us up. Thank you, Rachel. Uh, she used to dress us in these the cutest little Easter clothes. And that was before Darcy was born. So that's my older sister, Deanne. And then I'm the one in blue. So uh, anyways, I couldn't find one with all three of us. But I just thought you guys would get a kick out of seeing me as a baby. And how my mother would dress us, which was very cute. So I thought it would be fun to do a little warm up. So warm up your hands before we do a cartoony, get them all ready. And I am again going to do a couple different bunnies. So over here, I did a bunny holding an egg with a pattern on it. I did the three bunnies, which we're going to paint today, but you can do anything you want to. And then I added this one because I thought it would be cute if the bunnies were sitting on an egg uh, or they're each sitting on an egg. Totally up to you. Again, so I'm going to do a couple different bunnies over here. You can watch or you can follow along. All right, let's start. Let's start with. Uh, bunny ears. So I'm going to start with a shape like this and a shape like that. Almost that almond football shape. Yours can be rounded. It doesn't have to be the same as mine. Oop. How are you doing? Are you guys keeping up with me? I'm going to try something. I was going to try to start a watch party. I have not really done it yet, but I think more people will see it. I don't really know what I'm doing. If you guys know how to do a watch party, try it. I'm, if you're on Facebook, if you're watching it, I meant to do it before. So um, oh, I'll do it later because I really don't know what I'm doing. But it popped up, start a watch party with your friends. And then I think you guys can all watch it together at the same time and draw together. Again, if you're on Facebook and if you're doing it live. I think you could even do it not live. So there's my bunny ears. Whiskers, his, his puffy little. Give him like a triangle type nose, some eyes. And again, you can give him any kind of eyes you want. Some eyelashes, whiskers. I'm gonna do the egg next. So the egg's like a big oval. And then it's a little paws. Bunny feet, maybe some dots here. Some grass, he could be sitting in the grass. Oh, let's give the let's give the egg a pattern. So we'll give it a little design, any kind of design you want. So just the oval makes it look flat, but to make it look like it has form or dimension, I can add some designs. 
But if I curve them following the curve of the egg, it will make it look more dimensional. So there's my little, my little bunny. You can color inside the ears. All right, so now let's do the three bunnies. I chose to do three because I, I was going to do myself and my two sisters. Again, you could do five. You could do a bunny all by himself. It could be you and your friend. Maybe you're thinking of who you're going to make the artwork for. You can make it for your children. You can make it for your grandchildren. You can make it for your grandparents. You can make it for your parents. You can create a card and mail it to a hospital or, you know, uh, anywhere you want. Think, think outside the box. So again, now this one, I'm going to do three. So let's just do three circles. One, two, three. Let's do some bunny ears. Now this is their back. You can make them face forward, but I'm having them as if they're looking away. So that's their back, and then they're going to have their arms around each other. So I'm going to do me. I'm going to be the one in the middle. I'm the middle child. I have two sisters. Darcy's the little one, and Deanne's the older one, and I'm in the middle. So I'm going to be on the middle here, and I'm hugging them both. And I'm going to give myself a little fluffy tail. Now, do you guys like pancakes? I love pancakes, and I saw the cutest picture of some bunny pancakes. Rachel, do you have that picture of the bunny pancakes? Okay, who's going to make me those? Those look so cute and so yummy, so I thought we would share that. <laughs> Thank you. I could go for those right now. I like pancakes. I like bunny pancakes, too. So there's my little fluffy tail, and then I'm going to put an arm over here. This is the bunny arm over here, and tail, and shoulders, bunny arm. And tail. Okay, so there's the three of us. And again, you could do four or five, you could do one, whatever you want. You could have them facing forward. Uh, but there you go. There's a couple of different ideas for you. Okay, now if we play songs that say happy, you have to replace the word happy with happy. Happy. So I'm going to play you uh, one of my favorite songs as a child growing up. Alexa, play. Come on, get happy by the Partridge family. And remember, every time they say happy, you got to say happy. Come on, get happy. Come on, get happy. Come on, get happy. All right, so there's our practices. All right, you got that? Now I'm going to do it on the canvas. You can use any supplies you have paper, cardboard, construction paper, anything you have. I use canvas. My canvas is 16 by 20. I use acrylic paint. Again, use whatever supplies that you have. I'm going to sketch mine out. You want me to use, move this? Okie dokie. Thanks for reminding me, you guys. That's why you're here to help me along, right? Did anybody start a watch party? Again, you could start, you could, then you could tell me how to do it. Start a watch party. So this is on YouTube and Facebook live Monday through Saturday at noon. And you can rewatch it at any point on both of those devices. Uh, at Artist of Heart Paint Party, it is under videos. You can also check in at Artist of Heart Paint Party to share your photos. You can tag me. You can email me. You can go to the website, which is where you'll find my email, artistsatheart.org, and send me your photos, and I will post them for you. Let's see what other ways. So tag me, post me, message me, email me. I think those are all the ways. Oh, my gosh. You guys really want to see my palette? So I am reusing my plates. I'm trying to uh, conserve my plates, and they're pretty messy. And if you saw this entire room, you wouldn't believe it, but the floor is covered. That's my goal. I have to clean this room when we're done. But there's pretty much everything that we've been doing for four weeks is on the floor of this room. You can't tell, but it is. So this is one of my plates, okay? It's a mess. And when acrylic paint dries, it turns into like a plastic. So I actually just keep adding paint on top of it. So, I, but I'm going to be using, so I'm going to use purple, I'm going to use pink, I'm going to use that macaroni and cheese orangey yellow, I'm going to do the background light blue. Now, could you do your bunny 
light brown, light gray, white. Absolutely. You can do you use your favorite colors. You can do your bunny. If you love blue, use blue and then maybe do your background green. Or you could do a blue bunny and leave your background white. Totally up to you. Again, you just have to think about contrast so that it shows up. I wouldn't want to do a blue bunny if my background is blue. So use the colors that you want. I was going to make my, uh, maybe I'll change them up a little bit today, but I didn't want, I wanted them to be cartoony. So I wanted to be cute little silly bunnies. But if you want them to be more realistic, use real bunny colors. You can even make them spotted, spotted bunnies. Okay. So let me sketch out my uh, bunnies. So I'm going to do three heads. One, two, three. Okay. And then the bunny ears. Come on, get happy. Come on, get happy. All right, now I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna be the one in the middle because you know the middle kid is always the best kid. So I've heard. Ask my mom. All right, so I'm hugging my sisters. And then we all need bunny tails. You can make them fluffy. If you have cotton balls, you can use cotton balls. You can glue it on there. Pretty easy, right? So there's my sketched out canvas. And what I wanted to talk to you guys about, so I celebrate Easter. Easter is on Sunday and it's Thursday. And do you know one of the world's most famous paintings is called The Last Supper? The Last Supper took place the Thursday before Easter. So the Thursday before Sunday. Rachel, you want to show them the picture of The Last Supper? Uh, there's a, there's a, that's one of the world's most famous paintings. It's called The Last Supper, which actually took place uh, on a Thursday before Easter. So that's when he and his Jesus and the 12 disciples were together. And that famous painting was done by Leonardo da Vinci. And it was done in 1495. Can you tell me how many years ago that was painted? Thank you, Rachel. And again, Leonardo da Vinci was an amazing artist. But not only was he an artist, he was an architect. That means he designed buildings. He designed amazing things, an inventor. He created things. You want to talk about thinking outside the box? That was Leonardo da Vinci. And if you're familiar with the Ninja Turtles, there was a Leonardo. Uh, again, I'm not sure if today kids are familiar with Ninja Turtles, but every Ninja Turtle was named after a famous artist, and Leonardo was one of them. So now you know uh, Leonardo da Vinci and the Last Supper, which is in Milan, Italy. It was actually painted uh, on a wall in a convent. And it's still there, but it's not in very good shape. It didn't hold up very well. So, but it is a masterpiece and I haven't seen it on the list. All right. So you guys ready to go? I think I'm going to do my bunnies first. No right or wrong. You could do your background first. You could do your bunnies first. The hardest part is deciding what colors you want to do your bunnies. I'm going to paint around the tail. I'm going to leave the tail so I can do it white later. Or you can just leave it the white of the paper. If you're using crayons, again, just shade them in. Uh, let's see. I'm going to start with me since I'm pink. I wore pink today. I'm going to make myself pink. So again, I have this messy plate. I'm, I'm a pretty messy artist here. And I have some pink on there. I have a round paintbrush. And this is how I'm going to paint it to look like he's fluffy. I'm going to tap like this. Tap, 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 tap. You want to see the brush strokes or I want to see the brush strokes because it makes, look, it makes him look like he's fluffy. When I add more white to it, that's called a tint, T-I-N-T. -T. So I'm getting a tint of the paint, which means it's lighter. And I'm going to paint right over that black line. Now, if I want to add more paint to it so it's a little bit deeper, I can add some more pink. And again, I'm not mixing it on my plate. I'm just mixing it right on the canvas. Tap, 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 tap. 
So it's giving it a texture. That texture is what's going to make it look like it's fluffy. Can you color it flat and not mix colors? Of course. But I, I want to make my bunny look fluffy. Oh, we can name the bunny. You guys can name all three bunnies. You don't want to call them Deanne, Denise, and Darcy. So, yes, my mother did all D names. So, Darcy, Denise, and Deanne. Deanne's the oldest. Darcy's the baby. And I'm the middle. And boy, my grandmother had a hard time with that. Okay, and then we'll do his bunny body. But I want the body to be a little bit different than the head, right? Because you don't want it to blend together. So we'll make the body right here a little bit. You could, it could be lighter or darker. Just as long as where it meets, you can see the, the head. Tap, 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 tap. Rachel's adding banners. I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything or if I'm going too fast. Any, any cute names? Tap, 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 tap. Did anybody come? I gave you a hard math question today. Did you figure out that answer? Fourteen ninety-five. That was a long time ago. And if you have time later, you can look up all the inventions that Leonardo da Vinci created. Pretty amazing. How's your bunny coming? Oh, how about Alexa, play bunny hop. I don't know who sings it, but I thought it would be a cute song to play today. Thank you once again, you guys, for all your kind words. You're so nice to each other. The photos are amazing. Your, your comments are amazing. Your artwork is incredible and so different. That's why I say everyone can do this. No matter what age you are, no matter what supplies you have, you can do it. You can jump in and join us. If, if you'd rather just watch, go ahead and just watch. So again, I could add, I don't have any cotton balls, but I could always glue some cotton balls on for my tail. You could cut out some construction paper. How about yesterday, were you guys watching when we did the balance and symmetry and we used paint and we folded it in half and it made a print? Well, I wanted to show you my print. So this was, remember I said, what does it look like? And so this was that paper that I folded in half to show balance and symmetry. And I thought it was a silly looking bunny. So I just cut some white ears and I, put some whiskers and some eyes on it. Some crate Rachel's like, what's up with the hair? But again, that was just like the blob of extra paint that I had. Remember we folded it in half. So you could always add something like, could I, that would be kind of cute, right? You could add him, but he's facing the wrong, you're facing the wrong way. He'd have to be like this. Or this one could be forward, right? Again, think outside the box, create a story. Oh, I forgot the bunny ears. How did I forget the bunny ears? That's the most important part. Tap, 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 make them fluffy, fluffy bunny. All right. I'm just gonna make this one a little bit different. So I'm gonna make the bunny over here purple, and then this one I'll do the orangey yellow. 
just to make them a little bit different. But I want the colors to be contrasting. So you want them to really show up. You don't want them to blend together too much. So let's do, again, maybe a yellow orange or an orange or a yellow. Yellow is pretty light by itself. So I don't know how great it'll show up. Tap, 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 tap. Did anybody come up with the Leonardo da Vinci invention? Did anybody come up with the math answer? Rachel, you can give a shout out to anybody with the right answer. Rachel's helping us behind the scenes today over in her house. Joe's still sleeping. That's, I guess, what 15-year-olds do. Rachel would be too if she wasn't helping, probably. But she's helping. Rachel's getting ready for college. You know, I was thinking, you guys, and you guys can help me come up with an idea. So Rachel should be graduating from high school. And my nephew, Richie, should be graduating from the University of Dayton. And I was thinking we should definitely do something special for all the graduates, regardless of how old they are or wherever they're graduating from high school, college. I think that we should do a graduate painting. So I was thinking maybe uh, coming up, end of April, beginning of May, we do something special for all the graduates. Start thinking about it. I thought it would be fun, even if it's just a graduation cap and you know a diploma. It's a very important time to show all your accomplishments you know, school, school can be tough. I will tell you, I had a hard time in school. I wasn't the best and I was good in art, <laughs> but I, you know, I struggled in math and I didn't, I didn't want to go to college. My mother told me I didn't have a choice. How she made me, I'm not really sure. Everyone's like, well, how did she make you? But <clears throat> she told me, she promised that all three of us, my sister, my sisters, and myself, were all going to college. That was not an option. We all had to go to college. And I was determined to not go to college because I didn't like school. And I decided I was going to go to the Cleveland Institute of Art. And I'm so glad I did. Not only did I go to the Cleveland Institute of Art, I got my master's in art education from Case. So again, my mother was like, I can't believe it. This is the girl who wouldn't go to college. And I did. And I'm so happy that I did. Because I'm not sure what I would be doing if I, if I didn't go to college. And I learned a lot about art. And I made a lot of good friends, a lot of good professors. So again, I'm just tap, 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 tap. And I just keep going into it with different tints, T-I-N-T, -T, tints. So I'm adding white, then I'm adding less white. I just want it to be, that's called value. These are values of the color. So the lights, you can do darks too, but I want this one to be bright. And I don't want to see that black line. So I'm covering the black line. I'm going to make this arm a little puffier. They're cute when they're puffy. Fluffy. Fluffy and puffy. Oh, I did it the same. I said I was going to do it different. Oops, that's all right. I was going to do that one purple and this one. But that's okay. I'm following my sample. Okay, let's do this one purple over here.
No, your colors do not have to be the same as mine. Tap, 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 tap. And you don't even have to be doing what I'm doing. You can be doing your own thing. I know a lot of people really love exact specific instruction. Do this, do this, use this paint, use this color. But I, I, I never taught that way because again, I'm not gonna make you use purple if you don't like purple. I love purple, but if you don't like it, don't use it. If you don't like orange, don't use it. I always say you have to customize it, make something that you like, make it personal to you, however that is. You could add Easter eggs. Like I said, they think of, the bodies could be sitting on Easter eggs. They could be surrounded by Easter eggs. Your entire background could be Easter eggs. So you want to have contrast, so there should be a difference between the head and the body, whether it's darker or lighter. So darker meaning more purple. I'm not putting black in it just because I don't want it to be a dulled down color. So I'm just making it a little bit darker by just using pure purple and not adding white to it. And then you just tap, 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 make them look fluffy. Tap, 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 tap. How's your bunny coming? I just scooped up some white on my brush. Fluff them up a little bit. So the amount of paint you're using, not only the tapping, but the amount could give it a texture as well. It could give it a little dimension so it's not completely flat. Or you can make it really smooth. I'm trying to give mine a little bit of texture, make it, flat, you know, stick out. And so many people are like, I don't have any paints at home. I can't join in. Uh, yes, yes, you can. We'll use whatever it is that you have. Get creative. Think outside the box. So you see how his arm is blending into his body. So I want to separate that a little. So we can make the arm a little bit darker. And we can make the body a little bit here a little bit later, but not too late because we want his white tail to show up. Good. It's kind of hard to paint from the side. Sorry, it keeps sticking my head in the front of it. The bunny's pink ears to me look a little, see how dark one is and one light one is? Tap, 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 tap. No one got the answer to the math question? You guys are too busy painting, right? Huh. I'm going to let that dry a little bit so that when I go back into the tail, I won't get the color in there because I want my tail to be fluffy and white. And I'll do my background real quick. Now, again, you do not have to do blue. You could put little Easter eggs all over. You could just fill up the whole background with little Easter eggs or jelly beans. Oh, just a million jelly beans. Oh, I love jelly. I wish I had some jelly beans. Not flat jelly beans, but 
pink, red. Red's like cinnamon spicy one. I like those. All right, let's do the background. So I'm going to do my blue with a little bit of white. Now you can do it smooth. You know, you could just do smooth blue or you could tap. So you can give it the same look with the tapping or you could just make it smooth. Or you could do it however you want. Or you can make it a rainbow. Today is going to be my first, oh, I forgot I'm doing that. It's at 4 o'clock. Today is my first private party online. I have, I usually do private parties in people's homes or restaurants. And I have, I've done you at like this, but this is someone's birthday party. And they asked if I would do a private party with her and her friends. It's at 4 o'clock today. They created a Zoom invite and I will click on it and then I'm teaching them a lesson just like I teach you guys. Uh, so that's kind of cool. I'll let you know how it goes. Exploring new options. Right? You got to try things. You got to try and try again and try again and try again. So hopefully it goes all right. We'll see. So my background's pretty blue. If I want to soften it and make it lighter, I just would add more white to it. not used to it being so quiet. I like to tell people it's more about the process than the product which means the process of painting or creating art, drawing. The process to me is extremely relaxing, it, regardless of the outcome of the painting. If you don't like it, put it under your bed. Don't crumple it up and throw it away. It's really, really nice to save your art. And that, they, that way you can see if you're getting better or you can look back at it and believe go, oh my gosh, I can't believe I made that, or wow, that's really good. I didn't, I wasn't thinking it was so good. But save all your stuff. Create a journal. Write a story. Name your artwork. All those artworks I've been showing you by those famous artists, those are all named. Starry Night, Lily Pants, Last Supper, they all have names. Maybe I'm going to name mine Sisters or Family or Get Happy, Happy Hugs. I didn't name it Happy Hugs. Sometimes I get distracted and I don't finish the painting. Today I'm like, I'm really gonna make sure that I finish the painting. I start talking and then I don't pay attention and I forget the little details. And you guys notice, but you don't really need me to finish stars or you know little details. I get you guys started and then you have the rest of the day, tomorrow, 
whenever to finish your artwork. You do not have to have it all done in one day. Maybe you get an idea to add something to it. Maybe you create a collage. You see a picture in a magazine or all that stuff that comes in the mail that you throw away. Maybe you can, oh, this is one of the things I loved to do when I was a kid, is you, all those, I call it junk mail, the stuff that comes in the mail, you save those things and then you cut the letters apart. So especially the cardstock ones, the heavier ones, you cut all the letters apart and then you glue them together separately and you make a word, you know, out of cut letters. So that's always a fun cut paper collage. And I know a lot of people don't have magazines anymore, but I bet you a lot of people have junk mail. Even pictures on the junk mail, pictures of flowers. You can cut the pictures of the flowers out and add them to your artwork. So this one I made a little bit bluer than the other one. To get it softer, just add more white to it. You could be painting it flat or tap, 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 tap. I'm going to wait just a couple minutes before I do my tail because it's a little bit wet. So if I start putting the white paint in the tail, then you're going to, I'm going to, I'm going to get that color in the tail. Now I couldn't make the tail a color, but I want it to be white. How's your bunnies? So I'm really trying to get this, you know, down that I look like my favorite part is seeing you guys. For all I know, it's me and Rachel. We're here together and no one else is there. Now, I know you guys are there, but I really like to see you. I like to see what you're sharing. Uh, but the problem is that the green room only lets six people in at a time, and then you get bumped out, you, or you just keep clicking and nothing's happening. If that happens to you, it's because the green room is full. That's the waiting room. So the waiting room is full, and you just have to keep clicking until you get in. So today we'll do a little bit, we'll take a break. So I'll do some of you guys and then I'll go back into the tails and then we'll do the rest of you. So we'll do a little bit at a time. Turn your volume down. Do not mute it. Okay. Cause if you mute it, we can't hear you. Put all your extra devices away, your phone, your other little electronics. Rachel's going to put a stream yard link up. I'm going to put my phone away. Uh, and you guys say your name, where you're from, your favorite piece of art, uh, anything you want to share. If you're done, if you're not done, I'm going to move this just a little bit because it always ends up in the way. So whatever you're ready, Rach. Hi, Hi Danny. Hi. How are you? Good. Thank you. How are you? This is my art work, and I would like to give a shout out to my friend and my dad's friend, Jamie to it because it's her birthday. Thank you, Danny. Bye. This is mine. Very nice. And this one's mine. Awesome. This looks great. This is mine. I named it Harold. Here. I'm Harry. Uh, this one's mine. Uh, I've not done it yet. Wait, back to okay. This is time. this is Buzz. And thanks for doing this. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi. Um, this is mine. This is me. This is my brother, and this is my sister. Wait, no, other way. This is my sister. Um, and I'm Claire, and this is mine. This is my 
Um, this is Ethan, my brother, my older one. Um, and this is me. And then that's Tyler, the guy right here, my brother, my twin. Thank you. Um, Adeline. Um, and the girl from yesterday. She's right here. Say hi. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. This is my artwork. This is um this is my older sister and this is my younger sister and this is me. And I'm from Florida. Well, thank you for watching. Hello. Hi. These are my bunnies so far. And um, I'm from Winchester, Kentucky, and I'm going to put like Easter eggs in the background. I love it. Thank you so Thank much for you. doing this. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Um, this is my bunny so far. Right. Um, it, <laughs> this is mine. Nice. Thank you so much. It's super fun. You're welcome. Do. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Hi. Hi. These are my bunnies. And I and I really like the art class. I've been doing it every week. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hey, Ava. Uh I'm Ava from the great state of Illinois in the city of the great city, Elmhurst. And so far, this is what my piece is. And another one that's very similar to this is all the way back here. I'm starting to lose room over here is this one. And Flopsy Mopsy. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for doing this. And you are very lucky to be on the news and good for you. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. pretty. And they're called the Whisker Sisters. The Whisker Sisters. Love it. Yeah. Thank you. Hi. Really nice. Thank you. Okay. Hi. Hi. Um, my, I'm from Pittsburgh, uh, and I'm not done yet. But Take your time. Nice colors. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Take your time. Nice colors. I'm going to do cotton balls for my tails. I love it. I think Hi. you're famous. Yes. Thank you. You're sweet. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Um, my name is Laura, and I am from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is my artwork so far. Nice. It's a picture of me, my friend Amanda, and my friend Bianca. That looks great. I, I love your artwork, and thank you for doing this. Thank you so much, and you're welcome. Hi. Hi. This is my bunny. Oh, cute. This is me, my, my, my mom, mom, and my dad. Aw, that's nice. And I have one for my friend that we keep on mailing to each other. And uh, yes, and two days ago, he mailed uh, three artworks. One from him, his sister, and his mom. Do you have any of them you want to show us? Okay, bye. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Louder. Um, my name is Emily, and I'm from Paintsville, Ohio. Um, I have three artworks that I want to show. So 
This is the one I'm making today. And then I have this one for my grandma. And then this is from yesterday. Very nice. Oh, I like the little house with the chimney. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi. Hi. I have a bunny to show oh, you. Oh, I love that bunny. So cute. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, I want to show you something. Look at look at my head right now. Do you see how <laughs> it looks like I have bunny ears on? Look at that. Can you see that? Because of the painting behind me? That's so funny. I didn't mean to do that, but look, I got some bunny ears. So you know what? That's another thing you can do. You can mm -hmm. make bunny ears, put them on your head, make a mask of a bunny. You can um, stand in front of your painting. I was just looking at it on the screen. I'm like, oh, I have bunny ears because of the painting behind me. So me. Now, yes. Hi, I just want to say a couple things because there's a lot of people confused in the comments about the link. Okay, go ahead. So I'm going to put in the comments, it will say Denise, artist at heart. It will be a comment from this Facebook page or YouTube, depending on what you're on. Um, you click that link and then you should come into our green room and then we'll add you in. You will not automatically come on the screen. You'll be waiting, but real quick, I just want to finish the tails, okay? Okay. So I am going to, you guys, just scoop up some white paint. Most of my white paint is pretty dirty, but I'm going to try to take some of the white paint and just make little puff balls. So I want that to be puffy so it looks like it has texture, and I am getting purple in it, so it's going to end up being a light purple. But that's okay. And again, I can, so I'm just tap, 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 give it some texture to make it look fluffy. Add a cotton ball if you have a cotton ball with some glue. So again, scoop up some of that white. I got blue in this one. So again, if you accidentally get a color that you don't mean to get in there, one, no one knows your mistakes but you, and two, let it dry and then add more over it later. While it's wet, you can't cover a mistake. You have to be patient. That's probably one of the most challenging things of my job. Oh, that one I got a big hunk of purple in. So one of the things that's really challenging is when you make a mistake you want to fix it right away and with paint you have to be patient so my options for that so what what if I do this one different what if he has see look at I could turn my mistake into something maybe this bunny has a light purple tail but I can't fix it until it dries so if I really don't want it to be light purple I can cover it after it's dry Otherwise, it'll just the paint will just keep coming off and you're going to get frustrated. So if you do make a mistake, let it dry. Go back to it later. If there's something you want to do, just walk away. Go eat lunch. Go work on your math. Go find out some information about Leonardo da Vinci. And then come back and fix it up later. So if you guys want to come, um, again, Rachel will bring you onto the, after you click the link, Rachel will bring you on the screen. So Rachel, whenever you're ready. Hi, Katie. Oh, she added the bunny tails. That looks great. Oh, those are so awesome. Thank you. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I wish I had some cotton. Hi. Oh, hi. Um, so this is today's painting so far. And This is yesterday, yesterday's finished painting. Very nice. Thank you. Hi. So cute. I love those colors. You see how she has a little pink bow on her head? Like you, on your, your, your own head, you have a little pink bow. You could actually put a little bow on your bunny head, right? Wouldn't that be cute? Your, your little bow just gave me an idea. We could always add little bows on the bunnies if you want. You guys both have them. Hi. Wow, those are so cute. You guys did a great job. How fun. Thank you for watching. Hi. Oh, yes. This is my painting. Oh, I love the egg. That, and a cute little bunny. 
and this is mine. Very nice. Oh, and the cute bunny stuffed animals and bunny ears. And I like you guys added eyelashes. You added eyelashes to little bunny. Very cute. We're submitting the name Buzzbird Hoppington the Great. <laughs> Love it. Did you see you're in the newscast? You guys were in the news with me. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm Victoria from Dragon, Massachusetts, and this is mine. Very nice. Thank you. You guys were in the news with me. Hi. Thank you for doing this. I just finished this. Thank you. Love it. So cute. Thank you. Hi, I'm Victoria. Hi. Oh, I think she changed her mind. Are you done, Gary? Hi. Hi. Um, this is my short dress. This is my finished star work. I saw you on the news last night. Thank you. Thank you. Do a amazing job. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Gonna come on. Let's go. Play upstairs later. Let's go play later. Hi. We can see you. Oh, now she just appeared. Hi. You want to show us? You want to show us your picture? And show them mine. Is this the one you want me to show? Yes. Go ahead. Show us. If you did it. If you did it. She's busy. Hi. Funny pancakes. Hi. I just had these, and they're like some water paints that we bought at the dollar store. And they're really watery. Yeah. And I'm painting my second one right now, and they're super cool. Awesome. So Love it. Thank you for experimenting and trying watercolor. Sorry. Um, I forgot to tell you the names that I'm going to name my bunnies. Floofzilla, Frosted Flakes, ah. and Flooferton Jr. <laughs> I love it. That's very creative. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> this is uh, my sister. Oh. We lost her. Hi. Hi. Oh, sorry, this is my um, painting. This I forgot to tell you the names that I'm going to name my bunnies. Floofzilla, Frosted my Flakes, ah, and Flooferton Jr. That's very creative. Goodbye. <laughs> Those are so good okay. and so fun. Hi. So you guys, I know it's on a delay. I still haven't figured out exactly the Hi, uh, here's my friend's painting. Wow. It's not my favorite game. Uh, here is the mom's paint, their moms. And then here's his drawing from my favorite game too. Awesome. Those look great. Thank you for sharing them. Thank you. So just a reminder, especially if you're new here, and we've been going through this, this is our fourth week. So if you're new, you really have to turn the volume down on your computer. The program that we're using, it's delayed. So even though we're li live, it's delayed a couple seconds. So you're seeing things a little bit later and we can hear what's being broadcast. So if you turn your volume down and move all your electronic gadgets away from the computer and don't forget to close your extra tabs, all of those things will help you so that when you come on, we can actually hear you. But don't mute yourself. Just turn the volume down, but don't mute it. Okay, so you can try again.
Those look great. Very cute. We see, it looks like a lot of people dressed up today, all these pretty springtime bows and it's very nice. Love it. I love it. So again, let me just remind you that if you came on today and it was silent and we couldn't hear you, you can try again, but don't mute yourself. Turn the volume down, but not all the way. We want to still be able to hear you. Close your extra tabs that are open. Move your electronic gadgets away from the computer or whatever it is you're watching us on. And that way it'll help with the volume so that you won't hear the delay. I would love for you guys to send me photos when you're done. And again, keep working on it. You want to add Easter eggs. You want to add bows to your bunny. You could add sun, a rainbow, whatever else you want to add. You can outline it with black or color if you want to. And message me, email me, tag me. Those are all ways you can send me photos. I love to know where you're from, your age, anything else you want to tell me, and then I will post it. My website is artistatheart.org. And again, uh, Artist at Heart Paint Party is on Facebook as well as YouTube. And you can re-watch all of the episodes. We started them four weeks ago. So uh, come tomorrow. Oh, let me show you tomorrow's. Come tomorrow. It'll be the end of our fourth week PJ party. So I know you guys today, it looked like you were all dressed up. So tomorrow's PJ party Friday. You are welcome to wear your PJs or get dressed if you want. And tomorrow, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do Friday flowers because they're starting to bloom here in Cleveland. And even though it snowed this morning, so it's PJ party Friday and we're going to do flowers. And if you would rather have eggs instead of flowers hang from the tree, you could do all different kinds of Easter eggs or you can do flowers and eggs or you can make it your own and change it. The flowers can be different colors. I'm going to post the event as soon as we're done here. That way you can even click on where it says get reminder. That way you'll be notified and you won't forget. So many people tell me that they forgot and then they watch it later on. So again, you can re-watch it or watch it live. I think it's really fun to go live and to see you guys live and see what you're up to. Please share everything, pay it forward, share your artwork, be kind, have a fantastic day, and I will see you for a fun Friday flowers in our PJ party. Got it? I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching.